During the 63rd session of the Commission on the Status of Women, the CSW63, currently underway in New York, under the theme Social Protection System Access to Public Service and Sustainable Infrastructure for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women and Girls. Quite a mouthful. Minister of Small Business Development, Lidio Ezulu, is part of a government delegation, a government and civil society delegation that is in attendance representing South Africa. She joins us now via Skype from New York. Uh, Minister, thank you so much for making the time. I understand it's just around 5.15 a.m. where you are, if I'm correct. And I've just looked at the weather forecast and it says cold, wet with the possibility of snow. How is the South African holding up in these conditions? You know, South Africans always hold up on any condition where they are. Quite frankly, we're working very hard here, and uh, the weather is also beautiful. It's nice and cold and fresh. Well, you were there uh, to represent South Africa, uh, the report on the status of the social protection system, access to public service, sustainable infrastructure for gender equality and empowerment of women and girls in South Africa. What does this mean? Uh, Desiree and your, your viewers, this simply means that as South Africa, a country, we need to make sure that everything that helps in the empowerment of women is taken into consideration both by government, the private sector, as well as civil society and communities in general. Because we know that women are still struggling in a number of areas in terms of them being recognized as full participants and as full contributors towards making a, creating a better life for communities, but creating a better life uh, for themselves. So this gathering here is actually a high level gathering that brings together advocates from all UN member state uh, countries, including government, civil society and business leaders who meet to advance women's empowerment. And I must say that since we arrived here in South Africa, it's really, really been exciting, simply also because the world is looking at us as a government and as a country from a very positive point of view, albeit our own challenges at home. But here in the United Nations, most of the countries are saluting us and giving us a respect from a point of view of the policies that we have passed in South Africa in as far as support for women is concerned. Take us into those policies, but, but especially related to your department, that create an enabling environment for women and girls. Yes, what was also exciting for us is to meet uh, with uh, Pumzile Mlambonuga, who is our own, who is a civil servant of the United Nations, and the, the discussions that we had with her in, in terms of what offers are available from a United Nations point of view in supporting women in business, in supporting women who are starting their businesses. And she was also urging us as South Africa, in particular my department, to use the United United Nations offices in South Africa or any other international organizations in South Africa in support so that women can access those programs that are available there. But I also think what is important here is that we came with two young women because the Department of Women uh, in, uh, through Minister Batabile Zamini, who is leading the delegation, requested that all departments who were attending here must bring young Young women along with them so that the women can get to be exposed to the machinery of the United Nations, but also be exposed to all the, 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 the delegates who are here because there's 10,000 delegates from all over the world. Here we have Tato Mufugeng and Wagura Ramosale who is uh, supported by the Department of Small Business Development, but other departments also supported. Also so we have um, Mrs. Zanelle Mbegi, who is also leading 20 young girls who she brought here just to expose them to how the United Nations work, but also expose them to the 10,000 delegates uh, that are here.
told they're there with you. Are they able to come into shot? Let's perhaps try and yes, have a yes, conversation with them. Yeah, Let's we, we woke them up from wherever they are. <laughs> they are here. You can see them. Say hi, guys. Hey. Hi. And just tell them how, how you're finding it here. It has been an um, interesting experience um, for us to be able to gauge what the world is doing versus what we are doing in South Africa. Um, but what has been poignant for me is that I've noticed that civil society and private business plays a huge role in assisting government to implement legislations and laws. So I've learned quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, also, the networks that we've been making as Minister has said, it has opened up a lot of opportunities for inter-global trading. And it's beautiful to see a number of women from all over the world gathered to speak one voice in, in, in equality, especially in the business and trade space. Thanks for waking up so early to do this, guys. We really appreciate it. But Minister, <laughs> just to finish off, you said yourself it's a high-level conversation. And a, an aspiring business person looking, uh, uh, watching right now and thinking, I want to have access to all of this that's being uh, 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 discussed here. How do they go about it? Well, at home, it's also important uh, for, for people to, well, the good thing about it is that um, there's technology and all, and as South Africa, we're also trying to make sure that women access technology so that they can be able to get information. We also are happy uh, to say that we will use every platform from a South African perspective to make sure that women are aware of these opportunities. We'll make a, uh, an opportunity to talk to you when you return so you can give us an update of the gathering. Thank you so much for making the time and for waking up. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Minister of a Small Business Development, Lindiwe Zulu, talking to us from New York.